Let's uh, also now welcome in uh, Mr. Segal uh, of Madison Sumi to understand better the factors at play this past quarter. Mr. Segal, thanks so much for joining us. Now, Vision 2020 couldn't have been concluded at a better time. Uh, steady performance, CAPEX has been completed ahead of time as well. You're sitting on huge uh, cash reserves. So let's just talk about some of the factors that really helped to make it possible this time. Uh, we do hear that there have been new targets and measures in place in the last six months or so at the office. So uh, uh, basically there was a clear focus on the costs uh, and uh, also uh, those units which were uh, losing money or were not in a good situation for whatever reason, uh, there was a lot of attention given to them. And uh, the units which were doing reasonably okay were also asked to contribute by doing better. So I think uh, it's an amazing uh, uh, situation where everybody understood his responsibility and delivered. Uh, we are also grateful to our customers because a lot of this, you know, this is the largest ever uh, fructification of an order. This thing, you know, we've uh, executed orders worth almost 10 billion euros or about 70 or 80,000 crores uh, in this particular year. So uh, it, 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 it was an amazing uh, thing to keep your costs under control and still go and uh, introduce the new orders and all that. Uh, terrific achievement by the team. Sure. Okay, you faced shutdowns and resumptions in a phased manner across different markets. So, you know, what uh, have been some of your learnings? What are global cues pointing towards? What are some of the takeaways from this? So, I think uh, definitely uh, uh, the current quarter would be uh, uh, more on the uh, you know, we have to really uh, focus on the current quarter. But uh, I think the market is coming back, albeit a bit slowly, but it is coming back. Uh, we are vindicated uh, when we uh, came out with our uh, statement of uh, 3CX15, which no country, uh, no customer, more than 15% of our uh, turnover, because uh, with that, you know, in 41 countries, we were facing different phases of uh, challenges and different governments were helping out in those particular challenges also. So I think uh, to some extent we are vindicated that we are a global company with 41 countries manufacturing, etc. So terrific amount of learning and uh, uh, we hope it never happens again, but uh, God forbid if something close to this comes, we'd be probably terrifically prepared. Mr. Segal, good afternoon. Wanted to get in your view, you know, on demand trends. I know it's a bit early at the current stage, but what is it that you're foreseeing on this front, you know, basis the conversation that you're having with your clients? I think uh, it's very difficult to, uh, to talk with the customers at the moment because they are so busy. They are so overworked in uh, the challenges that they have. You know, we ourselves can see what is happening. So really no commentary like that happening, but what is uh, the biggest guide for us is, uh, you know, the orders that we are getting, the delivery expectations that the customer is giving us. So at this particular moment, uh, we are not trying to uh, get too, in, uh, um, you know, uh, inquisitive as to what is happening, what's the strategy or things like that. We're just responding. Whatever the customer wants, we are trying to find solutions and trying to find a, a resolution of his, uh, of his uh, uh, situation. And I think uh, uh, more than that, everybody can say whatever, but I think uh, the market is desperate. Uh, they are going to uh, relook at all the things that were bothering the automotive industry in the past two years. I think uh, personal transportation, uh, the, uh, the importance of that in your life has really been uh, clearly uh, told to everybody as to what the importance of that is. So I think uh, there's going to be a relook. But as of now, wherever the plants are started, we are uh, we are uh, pretty glad to report that they are doing very well. Uh, we have almost about 40% of our plants are uh, more than 75% of the capacity, and so it's 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 doing very well. Uh, as and when it comes out, we, it it starts to do well. I think India, it will take a bit more time because we have multiple uh, challenges here. 
So I'm sure uh, the governments, relative governments, the state governments, the central government will come up with ways and means by which they have to get this whole thing wrong. So what is your liquidity position at the moment at Madison and how will you be utilizing these funds that have been raised by the company in the last one to two months? Are you considering any buying opportunities or as of now are you going to just preserve that cash for something more important at a later stage? Uh, definitely. I think uh, we are, we are uh, always there. The customer wants us to take over something. Uh, we are always there for that. Uh, but uh, at this particular moment, whatever uh, cash and everything we are generating is just to make sure that, you know, our company is in a very safe uh, situation for the next uh, three to six months. Um, also, I think uh, acquisitions would be a bit more uh, challenging in the next three to six months because uh, a lot of the governments outside uh, have really supported the industry uh, over there. So I think uh, that could be... A, uh, uh, a bit far, further away, but I, I personally think that uh, at this moment is survival uh, and making sure that my customers are getting exactly what they want. Uh, so I think uh, uh, these are very uh, uh, difficult circumstances uh, to to carry out. But I think in, in in the coming time, maybe six months, one year, you'll start to see we get, getting back for that. Right. Okay, uh, Mr. Sekal also wanted to understand, you know, now that 2020 plans are almost concluded, what is the vision then for Knight's next five years that Madison Sumi has in the post-COVID world? Uh, do you have a five-year plan in place already or do you think are you going to play it as and when things begin to po uh, open up and life gets back to normalcy post-COVID? So uh, this was the concluding year. We were supposed to have done 18 billion, uh, but I think we are close to about 12 billion at the moment. Uh, we had started off from 5.5 billion. So uh, in this particular case, you know, man proposes, it, God disposes. Nobody could have seen uh, COVID happening. So uh, uh, we are going to come out with our five-year plan immediately, very soon. Uh, at this moment, you know, it is a huge challenge when you have 272 facilities and plants. Uh, so I think it was a huge challenge over there, but I think we will uh, do an investors conference probably somewhere around in uh, August, July, August, September, and we will be releasing our next five-year plan. Mr. Segal, good to have you on the show. and. Uh... Uh, congratulations uh, for your earnings and yeah, the stock price move as well. What a steady uh, uptick one has seen off late on this one. That's the word coming in from the Madison Sumi management, highlighting how their earnings are and what is the vision.